We were not told about Rodney King being hit 56 times in 81 seconds with batons. We saw it with our own eyes. It was on video. So we saw four police beating Rodney King. It was clear cut. 56 times in 81 seconds. Something like this. Boom. Pow. 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 That was New Jersey Senator Bill Bradley in 1992, and I will never forget that day in the Senate as we all watched when Bill Bradley made that impromptu decision on the Senate floor to hit his podium 56 times in 81 seconds to drive home to the United States Senate what everyone in America had seen in the video of Rodney King being almost beaten to death by Los Angeles police officers in 1991. The Senate chamber got quieter and quieter with each tap of Bill Bradley's pencil. He did it 56 times in 81 seconds. And we know about those 56 times in 81 seconds because a 30-year-old plumber named George Holliday reached for his new Sony video camera when he heard police sirens in a helicopter in the middle of the night. He told the Los Angeles Times, quote, you know how it is when you have a new piece of technology, you film anything and everything. George Holliday stepped onto his balcony of his apartment and he aimed his camera at what the L.A. police officers were doing to a black man lying on the pavement. That video soon became the lead story on every newscast in America and then every newscast in the world. George Holliday's video gave white America their first real look at how policing works in black America. Last weekend... After being hospitalized with coronavirus for about a month in Simi Valley, California, George Holliday died at age 61. Last year, George Holliday hoped to buy a home by auctioning off the video camera he used to make history. He said he was hoping to, quote, inspire people to use their cameras for everything, the bad and the good. When there were no bidders for his camera, George Holliday told The Sun, quote, I've been a plumber for 43 years. It looks like I'm going to have to be a plumber for quite a few more years. In 1993, Reverend Jesse Jackson said this about George Holliday. What was missed, by and large, in news commentary was that the only reason that we know anything about Rodney King is a white man named George Holliday filmed the beating and took it public. Had George Heller did not have the quickness of thought and the character to take the film public, he would never have known of, of a Rodney King. In other words, George Halliday went beyond color, went beyond race, up to the high plateau of, of courage with character to make America better and true to its, true to its commitment. Reverend Jesse Jackson gets tonight's last word about George Holliday. 